Hi. So Cricut has recently added the feature Automatic Background Remover in Design Space. This new tool is available to those with a Cricut Access subscription. And today I'm going to walk you through how you can take a personal photo and quickly turn it into an amazing creation. For this tutorial, I'm going to take a photo of our dog and make stickers for my daughter. You could also make t-shirts or decals. There are so many different options that you can do. Okay, so let's, let me get rid of this and go back to the beginning. I'm going to go back to my blank canvas and I'm going to come out and hit upload. Then you go to upload image, browse, and go out on your computer and find your photo that you want to remove the background from. So here is my dog photo. And I am going to bring it in as complex because there is fine detail in there. And the new background remover is right here. So let's give it a click and see how well it works with this photo. It should take the entire background away quickly. So there we go. It looks pretty good. There's a little bit over here by his tail that looks like they couldn't figure out because it was wispy what the back what was background and what was not. So we can just go in here manually and clean this up. So I'm going to come over to my eraser. And they also added a new feature called Restore. So let me show you that. So let's say I'm erasing this and I accidentally take off too much of his tail and I didn't want to take that part off. I can just come over here to Restore and bring it right back which is great because if you remember how it used to be, if you made a mistake, you often just had to go and start all over, which was really frustrating. So this is a nice new feature. So let's go ahead and finish cleaning up his tail. So let's apply and continue. And this is what he's going to look like. So let's select the print then cut image. And add him to the canvas. So here we have our dog, but you'll notice around the outside we still have that light line where you can still see some of the background. So I think what we'll do, I'm going to make a copy of this just in case I mess up this first guy, is we're going to use the offset tool. And I'm going to offset it. You can see this line right here. So the offset tool, you can go negative and offset it inside or positive and offset it outside, which you would use for like stickers. Um, I love that they have this tool in here. And it's, I am going to offset it by just a little bit. Just trying to make sure I cut all of the dark outline off. Okay, so uh, that looks good. I'm going to apply that. And now I have this offset that's just a little bit smaller. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back over it and I'm going to use the slice tool. So I'm going to grab my offset and my dog and I'm going to slice them. And there's that. I don't need that anymore. And it's sliced off just that little outline and my doggy looks a lot cleaner. Uh, he lost a little bit of his tail, but that's okay. He still looks good. So I'm going to get rid of this doggy, and I'm going to use this doggy instead. I'm going to shrink him down so he's sticker size, and I'm going to make some copies of him.
you can see this is the photo using the offset. It looks much cleaner than this photo that we used just using the automatic background eraser tool with no offset. So we are going to send this version to be cut. <laughs> 